Ricky, take us through those closing laps at Darlington. You uh, were closing on him. Did you think you had time to get there? I, I really believed I could catch him. And of course, the old adage, catching one thing, passing's another. And as you know, it's hard enough to go through turn one by yourself on new tires. We tried going through turn one side by side on wore out tires, and you saw what that got us. But then we got a shot off of turn four the last lap, and it was pretty exciting. A lot of times when there's a wreck, you think your way through it. You look and you react and you drive. Something tells me that was more of a reaction than that was just, you jumped on it and hoped it worked, it looked. You're exactly right, it was all offensive. It was, neither one of us were really defending ourselves. It was just a sprint from turn four to whoever could get to the start finish line first. And the result, if you wrecked after that, who cares? Well, that's true, but you know, the really cool thing about that finish was that we went toe-to-toe -to -toe and we mixed it up as hard as you can and didn't wreck one another. Now, had we wrecked one another before we got back to the start-finish line, you got a controversy. Instead, you got a great finish. Right, a controversy in which I would have benefited because I was just behind you guys. <laughs> but, nevertheless, let's put you behind Kurt Busch with a lap to go and see if you can be as smart and as fortunate as Ricky Craven was. Let's get in the game. Still there. Got it. Way to go. 